finish off the NFC South, we're seeing one team right here in Nashville with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, but we start today's preview with the New Orleans Saints, where last year they really had no business being in contention the way they were. Uh, they, they were 9-8. and eight. COVID wiped them out in one of these games. And then the week after, uh, the, the league changed their COVID protocols and uh, screwed them out of some starters who felt fine but tested positive. Sean Payton is gone. Dennis Allen is a head coach again. They, they suffered a ton of injuries, including Kamara. Uh, they played four different quarterbacks last year. Winston is coming off a torn ACL. Andy Dalton's now his backup. Uh, they wanted Deshaun Watson. They lost out when the Browns came back over the top with the guaranteed contract. Michael Thomas is back. He's practically missed all of the last two years. But the year that he actually finished the full season, he set a new reception mark prior to Cooper Cup uh, with over 150 receptions on the year through the 16 games that he played. They've added Chris Olave. They added Jarvis Landry. They have Trevor Penning now at tackle. And uh, he's replacing Teron Armstead, which is going to be a big loss for them. But guys... This is a team that overachieved despite injuries. It sounds a lot like the Titans, minus the musical chairs at quarterback. That's the one injury they didn't have to go through here in Nashville. One team went through a record number of players and still somehow had the number one overall seed. The Saints went through four different quarterbacks and ultimately lost out on any playoff chance because the injuries caught up to them, despite I thought was a very good coaching job. I think there's room to regress, and it starts with Sean Payton to Dennis Allen. I mean, uh, Sean Payton's one of the best um, there is. Uh, He he did great work with quarterbacks and offensive scheme. Pete Carmichael's a guy who has been in the background for them for a long, long time. So we'll see what he does in terms of crafting an offense. But he's doing it with Jameis Winston. I'm not a believer there. And uh, I like the offensive weapons, weaponry that they added, Alave and Jarvis Landry and a healthy Michael Thomas Kamara. would be terrific. Kamara could still get suspended for what he did in Las Vegas. That case is we haven't heard a word about, but it's not closed as far as we know. No, in fact, it's so not that even hangs closed. Over they, their keep, head. they keep pushing it back. I so. think the next key date in that case is late October at some well, point. Well, I'm talking personal conduct policy-wise. It's certainly not closed. And, and every they could report do I'm seeing is that time. he's probably not going to get suspended this year. That'll be a six-game suspension they expect next, next the next yeah, season. It's crazy. They need him to play so he can make the Pro Bowl and play in that game, too. Uh, yeah, Andres got to up those Pro Bowl ratings. Is, Go a, on. is a weak link on the interior defensive line and – and the one thing that is bound to get worse for them, red zone defense last year, 43.5% touchdown rate, which is excellent. That's the kind of number that tends to come back to balance. They're probably going to give up more touchdowns when teams get down inside the 20. They had a great scoring defense last year. Yeah. I mean, they, they were top, they've top had two a, or top three in that category. They've had a top four rush defense for the last four seasons. Uh, and Demario Davis, a big part of that, a guy we interviewed at the Super Bowl in Los Angeles. Uh, I like this team. Cam Jordan, uh, Marcus Davenport on the edge. Honey the, Badger. The defense is going to be really good again. It was we just mentioned it was great a year ago. Um, look, Jameis Winston can be a little bit goofy at times, and his play can be erratic at times. But he's a hell of a lot better than Trevor Simeon and all the guy <laughs> and Ian Book. Sorry, Colin, our resident, our uh, producer and resident Notre Dame fan. But they're going to have an upgrade at quarterback. Chris Olave is a great pick, terrific player at receiver from Ohio State. They're going to be upgraded. Jarvis Landry, they're upgrading at wide receiver, upgrading offensive line with a first-round pick at, at right tackle. Uh, Paul, you mentioned it. The big referendum is going to come with Dennis Allen. And it's also a referendum on Sean Payton because if Dennis Allen takes the torch and improves – and the Saints are a, a playoff team this year. I sound like playoffs. Playoffs. Playoff team. Um, I like I like the Saints. I, I think they're right there for you know going to battle for a playoff spot this year. And maybe I'm I'm falling in line with the people who are starting to slowly like Jameis Winston a little bit more uh, this past off season. But I I think the Saints I, have a shot to be pretty good. See, this is where Winston could either be. This would be a great um, Twitter poll. Like, do, you, do you think that Winston is more likely the first quarterback benched in favor of his backup or that he 
has like comeback player of the year type numbers. I think it's comeback player of the year. Well, if that's, I would if, lean more so to that side. If than that's getting the case, pitched. if that's the case, then Trevor Penning ends up being the best draft pick that any team made in the first round. Um, and all he's been known for so far is getting into fights. 